Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a May favorites video. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and let's get started. So my first favorite of the month is this Dermalogical Pre-Cleanse. And so basically with prosthetics and just like the past few months in general, um, the kind of products that we've been putting on our faces for school have been really harsh. So for example, like Spirit Gum, Prosade, like it kind of just all adds up at some point and my skin is kind of like dying a little bit but that's what happens when you go to makeup school and so I had gone to Ulta and we were trying to figure out something to use that would like help me with my face and like take makeup off better and so what I found is this Dermalogical Pre-Cleanse is really amazing so I will sometimes use it even if I'm not wearing any makeup typically what you do is you just put some on your hand you can add a little water if you want, but usually wait, and then you just go ahead and put it on over your makeup and sort of massage it out, and then you rinse and then you wait for it to foam up. But what I love about it is not only does it help take my makeup off, but like it smells so good. Like literally, I wish you guys could smell it. It literally smells, it smells like essential oil, but the scent for the essential oil is like blueberry skittles like that's what I would describe this as and it smells so good and so clean and like like I said sometimes I'll just come home from school and you'll all have like some residue stuff on my face so I'll just come and I'll like take it off that was so helpful for finals week I love it so much I highly recommend it and I got some of the masks and stuff too but I haven't been able to try those as much so I'm excited to try those and we'll see if maybe they make it into next month's favorites video. So my other favorite this month is this lemon head glitter. And I've heard of this very little, but seriously, I use this on my final. Oh my gosh. So it's like this like this soft kind of almost gel glitter. And it is in the shade Space Jam. And so I use this on my final and literally I love it so much like I want to use this on myself so badly like oh my gosh it's just stunning all the colors like how it has like golds and purples and like this would be really pretty on the lid of an eye and then to be able to smoke it out I think it'd just be absolutely gorgeous and I love how creamy it is it feels nice on it and I don't feel like it's going to come, like fall off like typically I have to apply glitters with like you know some sort of like glitter adhesive this it just like it just goes right on and then you can still work with it and move it to like where you want it which is kind of difficult sometimes because sometimes when you put the glitters down they won't give at all and this one does so I really like that and I can't wait to use it more so another uh, favorite this month is this Delium brush and it is number 787 and I love this so much because like I love to apply concealer with this or like to stipple on some trouble areas this is also amazing for male grooming I highly recommend it and it really just gets into like those really like tiny areas. It's a dual fiber brush and it is so soft and I seriously love it. So funny story behind this is it is spelled Delium as in B Delium. And I would always call it Bedelium because it's like, hey, there's a B in front of it. Like, oh, where'd you get the Bedelium brush? Blah, blah, blah. And my teacher looked at me one day and he's like, funny story, Madeline. It's actually Delium. And I guess I'm just confused as to why they would put a B there and have a B be silent. Like that just is kind of confusing to me, but that's fine. It's fine. We're, we'll worry about that later. So um, it's Delium. I don't know why the B was necessary, but uh, they'll just do what they want. So another favorite this month is actually what I'm wearing on my lips. And I seriously have been wearing the crap out of these colors and I'll either wear them together or separate. Personally, I've been liking to wear them together this month, but it's the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Taurus in Lady. Now, any of y'all who know, like, I love my Zodiacs, like, first of all, the name itself is beautiful. I love it. I love anything Zodiac. And the shades are just stunning, like, and they're so creamy, they stay on for such a long time. You do have to retouch with them if you eat or anything like that, but seriously, they're so creamy and pigmented, and I love them so much. I've been wearing the crap out of these. Typically what I'll do is I will wear Taurus all over the lip, 
and then lady I will take into the places that I want more of like not an ombre lip but what that I want to add more dimension and darken so I'll add a uh, lady probably on the corners a little bit but absolutely stunning I love this I recommend this to anybody um, I think it's also fun to be able to bring out some of the darker colors even though it's summer they do almost have more of like a bronzy red look to them when especially when you wear them together so if you're gonna like be glowy and bronzy this is the perfect lip to wear with it in my opinion so my next favorite this month is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and this is in the shade Diamond Dust. Once again I use this on my prosthetics final. I definitely love this. I think it is stunning. I think if you wear it on the lid this would be perfect like especially I mean obviously it's like a year away but like New Year's Eve this would be gorgeous for a New Year's Eve. Like, oh my gosh like it is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. Another thing with this is, um, I know prom just prom season just ended, but if you want to use this for maybe homecoming or prom in the future, I definitely recommend this for that. But it is absolutely pigmented and beautiful and creamy and it's comfortable. Like I said, like glitters can be uncomfortable sometimes and this like just stays on. It is stunning. I highly recommend it. So my last favorites of the month regarding makeup is actually this Morphe brush set. And it is the Royal Blue Collection that they have. It comes with 10 brushes and I have used every single one. The one that I don't use a lot is actually the tiniest brush. It's like this little pointy one. And I'm sure that you can use it for like gel eyeliner. Uh, I'll probably use it on clients to like get in on the gel liner. But honestly, it's absolutely amazing. I love using the bigger brush for buffing in makeup. I really like that. And then also like the blending brushes. Morphe brushes are just amazing to begin with. So when they came out with blue, um, I kind of got really excited. And I'm like, I really don't have that many brushes for myself personally. I have a lot for my kit and my clients. But I don't really have a lot that I allow myself to use. Because it's like, you know, if I'm using all my clients, I'm like, no, just, just get your own, you know. So I got this for myself. And I'm so happy I did. I love all of the brushes. I've used them all and they are so soft and comfortable and I I highly recommend them. So so my next favorite of the month is the third book in Sarah J Mass's installment of A Court of Thorns and Roses and this is A Court of Wings and Ruin. This gave me so many feels. Like this is my favorite book series I've ever read. Um, I got all the feels. Personally, I still think Mist and Fury was my um, favorite book, but just, like, she can do no wrong, honestly. Like, her books are just so amazing. What's so bittersweet about this one is, like, it's so good, but it's the third book, and it was the last book with the main characters being the ones that they are. She did, however, announce that she is going to continue the series, but it's going to be based around different characters and not the two main ones. If I could recommend anything to you, I would definitely recommend this series. It is absolutely amazing. I don't want to say anything about it, which, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of like, oh, it's in my favorites. Because so much changes from the first book to the third book that I can't even say anything without spoiling something. So, uh, read it. If you don't want to read it, that's fine. It is fantasy. It's based on fae and stuff like that. So, if that's not your cup of tea, Go drink some other tea and be happy. Uh, this is my tea and I uh, I devoured this. I think I read this in like two days and that was in the middle of finals too. So I, so good, so good. Okay, that that's enough of that. Okay, I could talk about that for so long. So my next two favorites are actually wigs. Um, if y'all know me, y'all know that I love wearing wigs. I think they're so much fun. Especially recently I've started wearing a lot of wigs. I feel like depending on the look I'm doing, like it can add so much, just like colored contacts can. And so I got these wigs because I've, oh, I've been wanting to dye my hair this summer because like I've been having, I had this color hair for a few years now. Usually it was lighter and then I dyed it darker and you know, it's kind of getting to that point where I'm like, I want to do something different. So I wanted to dye it red. And the problem with that is we would have to completely strip my hair of color and you know, all the expensive not fun stuff so I just kind of decided like hey I'll just get wigs so that's what I did and I've been having so much fun with them this one is kind of like 
a red coppery color. It's a little shorter and the bangs, um, you know, they kind of get in my face a little bit, but that's nothing I can't like deal with. It is not a lace front wig, but it is very, very fun to play with and I love the color. Um, I don't know if the color I would have got would have been this bright, but this is just so fun to wear. I feel like it brings out my green eyes and it's just like, it's playful, you know, and that's what wigs are for. Is they're like, they're essentially just another accessory, so I really liked this one. Okay, do y'all ever have like those moments where you wear something and you feel like your name would change? If that's just me, that's no surprise, but anytime I wear this wig, I feel like my name would be like Roxanne or something. Like, okay, you know, we'll move on. So my next favorite is also a wig, and these are both from Nigel's, by the way. And this one is longer and is a bit darker of a brown, but it still has the red tint to it. And I like this one because I feel like this one is more natural, so I can wear this one out more and feel not so uh, transformed, I guess. Um, but I love this so much. I think this is like a nice subtle change. I feel like if this wig and the Roxanne wig like had a baby, that would have been like the ideal color that I was going for this summer. It's very natural. Like when I wear it, I feel very natural. Granted, they are wigs, so I'm not gonna feel like it's like a thousand percent my natural hair, but it does add a little bit of difference. So I do like that about this wig. And this is a lace front wig. So yeah, that's the other wig. And then my next favorites aren't actually um, physical. They're kind of more of like, just like little favorites that I have. So one of them is a song and I, haven't really been listening to the radio recently because typically I just like either listen to music on my iPhone or on YouTube. Typically it's like Broadway music or something like that. And I'm riding in the car and my friend just screams and she's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, what? And she's like, I love this song. So I listened to it. It was the first time I ever heard it and it's Despacito by Justin Bieber. I never thought I would be like, did you hear that new Justin Bieber song? But afterwards I was like texting everybody like, oh my gosh, have you heard it? And they're like, yeah, it's been on the radio. And I'm just like, well, can you tell that I uh, haven't been listening to the radio? But literally it's just like, it's one of those songs that you just kind of want to like start dancing to. Okay, and so my last favorites of the month is actually, I talked about this in my last video, but whenever I was having a hard time focusing, I would listen to Creepypasta. And I don't know what it is about it, like I couldn't focus listening to music while I was sculpting or anything like that, but while I would like listen to Creepypasta, I would just get into a zone and all of a sudden I'd have my work done. For those of you who don't know, creepypasta is just the another word essentially for, you know, scary stories. And so typically creepypastas are either completely fabricated and made up or they are true stories that people like write about on Reddit or they make blogs about and then these creepypasta readers go looking for them and then they read them aloud and essentially bring them to life. A few of my favorites, um, I'm gonna go ahead and link in the description bar below. I highly recommend listening to them. Obviously the videos can get kind of long, like for example the one I listened to that was one of my favorites and just kind of like, you know, mind-boggling, like literally like the Mr. Krabs like meme, like it was like two hours long but it was perfect because I was sculpting and so when you're sculpting for like six plus hours a day um, and like that's all you're doing it's very independent like that was literally perfect that's exactly what I needed so I think some of my favorite creepypasta readers were uh, cryotic he has a series and it's called cry reads and um, those are terrifying I think those are the ones that actually possibly affected me the most just because like it's read with like inflection and um, like, ooh, no. And then the other is like, it's like, you know, Corpse Husband, uh, Creeps Make Pasta, like stuff like that. They're all amazing. I love them all. So I loved reading them. I thought that they were uh, super crazy. And especially because it's kind of like an audiobook almost, because I can keep sculpting and then I'm listening to this and I can like see the story unfold. It's also really neat because it makes you think about a bunch of different things because you're like, oh, could this have happened? Or, you know, the more realistic ones where it's like, you know, more criminal mind sort of stuff, you're like, oh, okay, definitely don't do this in the future. Or, you know, because I live in Los Angeles, I'm like, definitely not gonna do that, you know? So 
Thank you so much for watching my very favorites video. I had so much fun filming this um, and talking about some of the things I enjoy, maybe recommending some things to you. So feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! And it's like this little, oh my god, I'm so, ah! I'm so tired and hungry. It is 10.22 at night, and I haven't eaten all day. But it's fine! Oh, I'm gonna make some pasta.